Hey, YouTubers, Facebookers, and Instagrammers, I'm here with this little pup today. This is the second time I've been on this little bit of surface here. Um, the first time he had to work a little bit harder to find the retrieves. We're starting to make him have to work using his nose, not just his eyes. So you're gonna see how I'm gonna hold him back, throw the retrieve, I cover his eyes momentarily, and then I release him onto the retrieve. Today's goal is about starting to get that dog to mark and then use his nose to find the retrieve, not his eyes. So we'll be working with the wind today and uh, hopefully making it progressively a little bit tougher each retrieve. What I'm doing now is hiding the retrieve from him by initially throwing it. So I'm going to roll it and then cover his eyes. So I'm going to cover his eyes so he doesn't see it. I'm going to let him go. Let him figure it out. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So what I'm going to do now is turn him away so he can't see it. So I'm going to give it a roll and then turn him away. And I'm going to put him back down again. Let him see if he can figure it out. So I just gently stand up and move towards the retrieve here, just so that the pup Good doesn't boy. give up and come back Good to me. Boy. So he got a little bit lost there, but I stood up. I didn't interact with him. I just moved towards him. Sorry, towards the retrieve and then he picked it. Now actually I did this for the first time the other day and he had to work a bit harder to find it then but he's already figured out how easy this is so I'm now going to take him to a little bit of longer grass which will probably make it a little bit more difficult so we'll give that a go. Just make it hard enough so he can't see it. Just so he has to work for a second. He can't see that. If he goes to the wrong side of the wind, he won't pick it. So what I'm doing now is throwing the retrieve quite a bit further, but because of that, I'm releasing the pup as the retrieve is still in the air quite a long way out. Now that keeps the dog marking the retrieve and keeps the confidence level high. 
I'm also always working into the wind. Now you see here, I stand up and gently move towards the pup. I was a little bit concerned he might give up and come back towards me. So gently moving towards the retrieve keeps that confidence level high. So I'm throwing it a little bit further into the wind now. I'm letting him see it though, because I'm throwing it a bit further. Yeah. Right, one more, bit further this time. So all my retrieves are very progressive, so I only make the difficulty level go up very, very gradually so that I don't knock my confidence of my pup. I'm also always releasing my pup out onto the retrieve with my right arm so that later when I steady the pup up that it will recognise a signal to go. with that that went as good as it could have done so last session i just did it uh in a little bit of grass over there and then today i've gone up into a little bit of longer grass making sure that i'm working into the wind because that's your puppy's best friend and he did an absolutely sterling job i'm really pleased with him it's better than i thought it was going to be um so yeah all onwards and upwards from here hope you enjoyed this vlog episode guys don't forget to follow me on facebook youtube and instagram <laughs> <laughs>